In the previous video, we have seen the total muscle force exerted by the erector spine under this condition. I think this was calculated as, uh, let me get that value, 709 uh, point, how about that. Now we want to see how much is the compression force. So this is the erector spine. This muscle force is applying force on this direction. And then there is a, assume that the person is working at an angle of 55 degrees. So this is an angle. So this vertical, the load here is making an angle with the uh, back is about 55 degrees. Assume that. So we have this load from the rectory spine. Also a component of the load this direction which will be mg that load cosine uh, 55 degree and also this mg which is the load uh, body weight. So the weight body weight is expressed by mz on this figure this is the textbook that i used the astron uh, i think it's chapin occupational biomechanics textbook you can see the um, reference in the openeducator.com for this figure so that's 55 degree now if i do summation of all forces f to the direction um, let's say downward to the spine this way sort of kind of like this way a positive direction so summation of wall force is zero if i do that that will be then the uh, erector spine uh, muscle force acting downwards to the spine plus the body weight um, mg uh, body weight mg is basically mass times gravity that's the weight times cosine uh, 55 degree plus the load um, that is carried uh, on the hand times cosine uh, 55 degree again plus the compression force on the disc everything sum to zero so if i just plug all this number here 109 pound plus this one was 100 and uh, 78.68 times cosine 55 degree my handwriting is getting really weird 101 uh, pounds for the load the person is trying to carry times cosine 55 degree plus fc everything sum to zero i have calculated that compression force on the lumbar disc was 812 uh, pounds which is a lot according to NIOSH National Occupational Safety and Health uh, the maximum recommended for the back compression is around 750 pounds so this will definitely cross the limit that NIOSH suggested and someone might get hurt by doing this particular job and you also realize that as the person kind of bend a little bit more to leave the same amount of weight is going to be even worse so you can think of just 100 pound is going to multiply in the back uh, 800 pound eight times more in the back compression so it's going to hurt the disc and eventually people will get injured by uh, lifting this way